champions and welcome back to It's Donnie Wani Time. Donnie Wani today is going to do a little prep for you um, just to show you what I do with my fresh bell peppers. Um, so if you're interested to seeing what I'm doing with these doggone things today then just Okay so watching. this what I'm going to show you today champions is how I take my fresh vegetables when these things are on sale because they're kind of expensive um, I buy them in bulk. I happened to catch a sale at our local grocery store and they had them four for five dollars. So that was a dollar twenty-five a piece. They were pretty good size and that's why I went ahead and jumped in it. Um, Aldi sometimes has them three to a pack for 99 cents but I needed some bell pepper um, for a dish that I was making and so I just went ahead and got the ones from our local grocery store that were four for five. So but I bought four of the orange, four of the yellow, and four of the red. And so what I do with them when I buy many of them like that is I clean them up, cut them up, and put them in the freezer. So that's what I'm going to show you what I do today and my technique for doing that. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I have already washed these up, scrubbed them up, cleaned them up, okay? Now what you're going to need is you're going to need a cutting board, your vegetables of course, you're going to need a good sharp paring knife, and then you're going to need a Ziploc bag. I use the freezer bags. And then for the purposes of this video, you're going to need some water. Now, generally, I would do this uh, with the water in the sink. But for the purpose of the videos, I have a bowl of water here. So, what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do, the first thing I do is, is I take out the core. Okay, so I just put my little knife in here, and I just go around and pop out the core. And this is where all your seeds are. Okay, so that's it. We're going to discard that. Now, on the inside, as you can see, there's still seeds and things in there. So generally what I do is I would at this point be washing this out in the sink. Okay? Um, I also pull out some of the excess that's right up at the top. So what we're going to do then, since I'm not at the sink, I got my little handy bowl and I just go in and I rinse it to get the excess seeds out and I further clean it out here, okay? And so as you can see, the seeds are out, okay? So now that we've done that, I can proceed to slicing it up. Now, you can slice it up any way you choose to slice it up, okay? You can slice it the width, the length, you can chop it, however you wanna do it, the way you're gonna cook with it. I'm going to slice it the width, okay? And you can slice it as thin or as thick as you want, okay? I generally just slice it the width, and then I'll cut the width, the width, the circle in half, okay? Now you can also, I also have a, bandol, a mandolin, which is a slicer, a hand slicer. But um, I only do that for like many, many, many. Okay, and then I slice them in half. And pretty much this is how I'm going to cook with them. I'm going to leave them as they are um, sliced in the, the way that I have them sliced. Because I already have some chopped up already. That um, uh, I would use for let's say potato salad or something like that. They're already clean. Oh, the next thing I'm gonna do then is now that I've sliced it up, I take my paper towel and I just wanna take some of the excess water off of them because that excess water will help for them to build, have condensation on them, which makes them, you know, freeze. Uh, with the condensation all, all on them and then and then they, they, they have that water on them so that water freezes and makes them limp. And I want them to stay crisp as they are. So I wipe my tape, uh, handy paper towel and wipe them off just to get that excess water off so that they'll stay more crisp and won't go limp. Okay, so now we're going to do it one more time with the yellow. Uh, the orange, I'm sorry. 
and it's really really simple and I find that this is economical for me um, because I don't have to always worry about buying um, you know whenever I need it I got to go buy it fresh I already have them in the in the freezer so to speak so as you can see we're gonna wash it out and get all the seeds out that are floated to the bottom and it's, this one seems to have quite a bit of seeds in it and even if you don't get them all out you can always get them out when you go to slice it up so now we've done that and we will slice Okay. Now, I'm sure that I'm not the only person that does this, but I'm interested to know how many of you all do this type of thing where you take froze, fresh vegetables and freeze them to be used at a later date and what your technique is. So please leave that in the comments section because I'm interested to see the different techniques that folks are using. But this one I've done for a long time and it just works for me. Now I kind of clean it off just a little bit for what I missed when I initially washed it out. Um, and just go from there with it. But yeah, this is, this is really simple. Something that I, like I said, I've been doing for quite some time. When my kids were all small and growing up, I would have to buy things in bulk and catch them on sale and buy them in bulk um, because it was most, much more economical for me that way. And again, we're just going to take off and dry off the condensation that's on them and drop them on the bag. I like to put them mix them up in the same bag simply because when I cook with them that's how I cook especially with the green and the orange and the red the, I mean the uh, red the orange and the yellow the green I put by itself because I use those for um, the green bell pepper much for, for much more often than I do these and so that's it that is it and we stick them in here okay and now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this this yellow one and as y'all can see this doesn't take very long at all not at all I want to say though that if you like it's Donnie Wani time and the channel my channel please hit that subscribe button it's the red button down below don't be afraid it's free and then also when you do that, hit the notification bell next to it. And that way you'll always be notified when I upload a new video. Currently, my video schedule is for uploading videos. It's Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Okay? So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Because we have a lot of fun on this channel. Okay, so as you can see, I've rinsed that out. And now we're going to go ahead and slice it up. And I could pull out, like I said, I could pull out my mandolin, but I don't have very many of these. And normally I pull that mandolin out, it's tailgate time, and I'm, and I'm pretty much slicing up like a humongous amount of bell pepper and onions. So it's much easier and quicker to do it that way. But for this... For the ones that I purchased, it'll just be done. I just typically just do it with my hand and go on from there. And so here we go. And you see it doesn't take long at all. We're going to take this and we're going to dry off the excess water so that they can stay crisp as they freeze. And then that's it, guys. So... I hope you enjoyed this little tip of mine. Like I said, let me know what you do with yours. If you have any tips that you'd like to share, let me know. We're alternating Chit Chat Sundays with some type of cooking or prep work in the kitchen. Because cooking is a part of my life. And so here we go.
all nice, crisp, and fresh. Okay? So, until the next video, champions. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of my new champions who've joined our family. Thank you to my ride or die who are always supporting my channel. And until the next video channel, and until the next video champions. Oh, I'm just so tongue-tied today. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Have a most blessed day. And be the best that you can be. Smooches!